So Jason, we're in uh, Oak Cliff. We're outside uh, a restaurant you own in a really kicking neighborhood. Like it's amazing. Uh, you know, I don't know why I'm fucking staying in Dallas because this is where it's at. But best part of Dallas. You've done a lot of work in the community to really put Oak Cliff on the map, uh, which uh, is awesome and inspiring. Um, but then you made a website, dude. Tell me about the website you made. Uh, 2006, I made a website uh, called the Oak Cliff Transit Authority. I basically made up a fake transit authority for my neighborhood uh, with the idea of trying to bring back the old streetcar, the old trolley car that existed from 1888 to 1956. Um, and just made it look really official. And then uh, what happened when you did the website? Uh, it was kind of satire, kind of like, ha-ha, funny, but looking real. But, I mean, did you have a plan of where to go with that? Yeah, I really wanted it to be a thing. I mean, I wanted to bring the streetcar back, but I thought, you know, this is going to be pie in the sky. It's crazy. My neighborhood was considered the bad part of town. You know, who's going to buy into this idea? But the newspaper picked up the story, and they were just like, this is great. You know, there's a street, there's a transit authority in Oak Cliff. <laughs> And then neighbors started. Oh, uh, journalists today, man, no research. Exactly. <laughs> neighbors started calling, and they were like, "We got a transit authority. Wow, this is great!" <laughs> like, and uh, yeah, in no time. I started actually forming a little nonprofit, and had an official board, and had a civil engineer that wanted to take part. I had a developer want to take part. An attorney said I'd like to help, and I had a guy who was like, could build, had enough parts in his garage to build his trolley car because he's just this old like street car enthusiast. <laughs> Um, yeah, so we formed a legitimate nonprofit association and um, started advocating for the trolley car to bring it back. But the D Dallas, the city of Dallas, got freaked out. Yeah, they were they were talking about bringing a trolley car back as well, but they were just thinking about it doing a downtown tourist loop. And so we pitched this idea and said, you know, well, why don't we do it to uh, to Oak Cliff, to the neighborhood? And again, you know, we're considered the bad part of town, so people were like, you're not going to put a trolley car back in Oak Cliff. And, uh, yeah, we just started. Uh, there was a grant that came out twenty. Uh, 2008, after when Obama got elected, and it was all about you know the economy tanked a stimulus grant called Tiger. It's like, how do we bring back the economy? How do we help you know uh, workforce like work uh, neighborhoods uh, attaching like workforce housing to uh, business corridors? And I thought, well, I, I've got a great project. We'll, we'll apply for this grant. And the city of Dallas was like, whatever, you can't. You go ahead, Oak Cliff, apply for all the grants you want. And kind of laughed at us. And, so we had a 0.3% chance of getting any money whatsoever, but what happened was we won uh, about $28 million and uh, <laughs> brought the trolley car back. $28 million from a, a kind of a spoof website. Mm -hmm. And I just rode your damn tr street car, Jason, from downtown. Yeah. It's awesome. I mean, ridership maybe is not that high, I've heard, but what what has been the effect of the streetcar apart from like just yeah. thumbing your nose at everybody who said it wasn't possible? Well, I'll say we didn't start it. We definitely wanted it to be a transit tool but for the most part we wanted it to be an economic development tool because everything we studied around the country was when you brought these back it helped drive economics and we we didn't have people moving to the neighborhood and businesses were down and so now if you go we've had over a billion dollars with the development uh, if you'd ride it you'll see all of this dense development happening three four five story buildings small businesses on the ground floors new projects cut uh, that are uh, ribbon cutting right now uh, in the area so it's it's kind of a chicken and egg you got to build it first but now it's happening people are starting to move in live in it's starting to get ridden more uh so it's slowly kind of fulfilling it's it's ultimate vision that's why i tell people you know this little fake website basically transformed the built environment for the next 100 years in my neighborhood so that's pretty cool, <laughs> yeah, pretty cool. yeah pretty cool <laughs> greatest fucking story in citizen urbanism anywhere in the world beat that Oh. <laughs> <laughs>